The spokesperson of UPDF Brigadier General Felix Kulaije has accused His Excellency Bobby Wine of supporting the ADF rebels based in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Well, it should be remembered that recently Bobby Wine said that ADF former leader Jamil Mukulu is a political prisoner. <laughs> Now, Brigadier General Felix Kulaije, in an interview with Urban TV, said they are aware Bobby Wine is an ADF sympathizer and that he had been bankrolled to carry on the mission ADF had failed, uh, which was, uh, you know, to block Uganda from producing oil. That's why Bobby Wine is vocal and working tirelessly to block the production of oil. That's according to the spokesperson of UPDF, Brigadier General Felix Kulaije. Now, veteran journalist Andrew Mwenda, in a recent talk show on KFM, revealed that President Museveni trusts Rwandese more than Ugandans, and that's why all people surrounding him are Banyarwanda. Andrew Mwenda also said that when uh, the misunderstandings between Uganda and Rwanda were at its peak, intelligence operatives advised President Museveni to fire the woman who lays his bed from State House, but President Museveni took a decision of not firing that woman because she's a Munyarwanda. Well, it should be remembered that recently in an interview with NTV Uganda, Bobby Wine revealed that President Museveni and his entire family are not Ugandans. Well, this one is coming in from the entertainment industry. Shiba Karunji, according to reports making rounds on social media, was arrested in Dubai over indecent dressing. It's alleged that she was taken over by security operatives from the CID in Dubai. Shiba, according to reports, was set to perform on Sunday, but unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. Otherwise, we hope that our queen is very safe wherever she is. Well, Next Media Services is mourning the death of their Chief of Staff and Chief Productions Officer Doreen Katusime. She died in Turkey yesterday where she had gone to seek treatment. Doreen Katusime was only 37 years. May her soul rest in peace. A senior minister in President Museveni's government, Miley Babalanda, survived punches by former Bobby Wine's bodyguard Chumacha Yesu in Canada during a symposium organized by the Kingdom of Busoga. While in this video, Chumacha Yesu is seen attempting to grab the microphone from the minister, but he was unsuccessful. Well, I think he wanted to report some issues to the king, but he wasn't given an opportunity to do so. And this is not the first time a minister in President Museveni's government surviving being punched. You remember a few months back, change-seeking Ugandans in Canada ambushed and uh, humiliated the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development, Ruth Nankabirua. Well, General Mohozi is still trending so big time and uh, the latest statement from him says, had a good discussion with my great father this morning. Apparently, my tweets scared Kenyans too much. He will announce the changes. There is a special prayer I shall make for our country. There you go. That is the latest update I have for you right here on the Buzz UG. And uh, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.